Hello guys, today we are making a thrift store in our Sampaguita Avenue town and we're doing it right here <laughs> And that would complete this whole main street over here Kind of. We still have to work on this little tindahan over here But I don't know if I want to do that in another episode Or should I just do it before we do the grand reveal? But enough talking now, let's get into the video! <laughs> So the store we are making is called an ukai ukai and that means just a thrift store, you know. Um, so that is what it is called in the Philippines and it kind of means to dig, like dig through clothes that are pre-loved and keep digging until you find one that you might want to take home. Well, you have to pay for it, of course. These clothes usually come from overseas and Filipinos love, 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 love imported stuff. Okay, um, it doesn't matter if it looks the same as the one that's made in the Philippines. They will still prefer the one that's made in anywhere else but the Philippines. <laughs> okay, and there's like racks and racks and racks and racks of clothing. I don't know how I can explain this, but to show you a picture, the picture that I'm looking at right now, it's all just racks of clothing. It's just never-ending racks of clothing. And no, I am not kidding. It's literally just racks of clothing. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, as you can see. It might seem odd, but, um, yeah, there's really no, like, design aspect that goes into it because you just want to fill your store with just, with as much clothing as much as possible. So there really is no shame in not having a design for your store. And I'm going to just spread that over here as well. Just a lot a lot a lot maybe like a table filled with like clothes as well okay there we go maybe let's make it like a thicker pile <laughs> um and i'm gonna add another one over here because there's just a lot of these clothes okay a lot a lot and let's put another chair over here or perhaps steal a chair from um the drunks at the front <laughs> um anyway and sometimes they would also have like clothes and mannequins hanging from the top and it's just like the legs of the mannequins. But they're wearing pants of course, but anyway, sorry, I said that really weird. But for now, let's go on the inside and right now I want to add more clothing up here. And how I'm gonna do that is make a basic shape and stack these on top of each other just like that. Lovely! And we're gonna do it for every corner of this whole place. And maybe we can actually try to put a little bit of a design, but I want shoes, okay? So we're gonna put a shelf here. What's a good type of shelf? I'm guessing this one? A little bit too thick for me, so maybe we can make it skinnier. Okay, just like that, uh, good enough, I suppose. Like I said, my request for Bloxburg is to have more types of shoes, but sadly we only have slippers and what do you call them? Sandals for now? Usually they would be like Nike shoes or something, okay? Not these, but sadly we're a little bit limited today, but that's okay. Um, and let me steal some box. Um, yeah, and some boxes here and there and open boxes as well because that would mean that we're also opening packages from overseas and luckily we do have open boxes here <laughs> um, Which is really good. So let me just put some boxes right here and make it the same color as the previous one and we can put Something in there like clothes, you know, you know Okay, so this is what I've come up with. Um, I want some shelves over here because I want more boxes. Now I feel like we've just had about enough of that. And let's move on to painting the actual wall. And I'm looking at reference pictures right now. And sadly, I, can, I cannot see the wall because it's actually filled with a lot more clothes. So <laughs> let me just add one more stack of clothes up here. And perhaps it would help to have like a different like colored stuff as well. So I've added these. And let me just replace some of them with this other clothing rack. And this one's like the modern clothing rack. And I believe we can actually change the colors of the shirts with this one, which is pretty good. So we can't change the colors on these cheaper clothing racks, but these ones we can. And I want like a common color so that way it's like better to look at. And so let me just do that by deleting some of them and putting it all over the place. Yep, perfect. Though this is annoying me a little bit because it kind of like cuts off over there. So let me just put this on backwards and maybe we can connect it. Oh, <gasps> lovely. Yes, just like that. 
Because we have space here, let me add more of these shoes. We don't have any formal shoe wear in Bloxburg. It's actually pretty sad. Okay, this area here is still empty. And I wanted to put some mannequins, but I don't really know how to do that. I can definitely try to make a mannequin, but just like the body. I don't know how, I, how to explain it. It's just the torso. Um, <laughs> let me try to make that real quick. But I guarantee we're probably going to end up having to move this a lot. So let's make it on a basic shape. So let me grab a cube and make it a transparent one. Make it really, really flat so it's movable. Okay, so we're going to start off with a torso. How do you make a body? A question I never thought I'd ask in Bloxburg, guys. Um, I suppose like it can be like a beveled cube at first. Just like that. And make it like the shape of a Bloxburg Roblox body and they wouldn't even have arms they'd have like um stubs so let me try to make that by making it really really small just like that so let's rotate it this way so it does look like the shoulders a little bit i think that's pretty good <sighs> okay so now we have to repeat it on the other side which i always hate doing so it looks like this but it looks really questionable now that you think about it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is terrible. Let's give it a dress. But how do you make a dress? <laughs> what is this, guys? <laughs> this might be the most basic dress you have ever seen. But this is as fashionable as we can get right now. I wish I could give it a little bit more shape. But it does look like <laughs> a potato sack. Let's add a really nice material. So it will really sell the fact that it's supposed to be a dress. I'm sorry guys, is it just me or are we good at this? <laughs> I like it. I really like what it looks like right now. Um, and let me just add that over here. And usually they're kind of like connected to a hook of some sort. So let me try to find a hook. This one will do. Put one over here. Lovely. And another one over here. But let's make more of these designs. Oh my gosh. We should be fashion designers. I'm so sorry. But that this is the best thing I've ever created. This is so cute. And I was questioning myself at the start as well. Okay, calm down, Panda. You're getting a little bit egotistical right there. You know what? I think this is pretty good enough, in my opinion. Um, we're gonna change up the colors and, of course, the walls, because it's kind of annoying me a lot. So, I suppose the best way to do this is to copy what's outside, right? But outside, the wall is literally brown, and who wants that? It's a little bit too dark. It's gonna make the space look really small. So, let me try to lighten it up or find a nice beige color. I'll make this area feel really light. Okay, that's practically white, but we're still gonna use this color. <laughs> Might be a little messy, but you know, <laughs> that's an aesthetic in of itself, so we're not mad about that. Now I want more chairs because we need to sit at some point, I'm just saying. And sometimes the owner will only have a little table over here, like that. And then this is where they would like count the money and stuff. Now I need the fluorescent lights because if we have the roof on it's still pretty dark so i'm stealing the fluorescent lights from here and let's add it to our build um a lot of 20 percent off signs definitely and a lot of posters over here that says 20 percent off um we do have one right here 20 percent off sign now let me add that over here and um put it like in between it's so big <laughs> Oh, and it can be like a little placard over here that says 15% off. It's like a little leaning thing. Okay, and I'm gonna steal this over here. <laughs> okay, I think we are pretty much done over here. But one thing I wanted to really add that I kind of saw in my vision um, is this water bottle that we get from this dispenser. Sports drink bottle. And we're putting that next to the owner's table here at the thrift store. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so one more thing I wanted to add. Let me just steal a crack. Where did we find the... Okay, here it is. Let me just steal a crack from over here. And let me make it go all the way up. Up, 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 up. Okay, just like that. Can you see it? Lovely. Now I'm gonna grab a semi-transparent basic cube. Basic cube. <laughs> semi-transparent cube not basic cube i mean it's a basic shape but it's just a, a i don't know what i'm saying let me make that really really skinny just like that and make it blue i think you know where i'm going with this and let me put it up here so it would roughly look like that and let me get a bucket <laughs> this bucket right here and it would go straight in there 
Lovely. Nope, it would not because it doesn't. <laughs> that is a lot better. Now what I'm gonna do to make it seem like the bucket is full, I'm going to be getting a basic shape and this one. Vertical cylinder. Growing up, we had like leaking ceilings in the Philippines. Um, it was just like a common thing. You know, they just put a bucket there and everything would be okay. There we go. Lovely. Now this will come in handy. <laughs> Let me add some vines as well. We're already here. <laughs> Let's just make this look pretty. And how I usually do that is no flakes from the Christmas update. It's a really great hack and it's cheaper too. It's just a pain to put down one by one. But you kind of get more control with it, which is something I really like. But before we get to the making of the decal thing, I'm really concerned about these empty slots over here. Because if this was IRL, I'd be scared of these. Um, anyway, so I'd be scared of these because they're like empty. It's like, oh my gosh, there's probably some like ghost in there. What I want to do, and I've never tried this before, but I've seen some of my friends do it. Okay, so let's go to lighting, and I believe it's the cube light box right here. And you can reshape this now like that. Okay, I think you already know what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe it will help if it's like nighttime. So you guys will see my vision, okay? Trust the process, please. Trust the process. Stop it! <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so cute. What? This is so adorable. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. What the heck? Why haven't I used this hack before? This is actually for real life changing, bro. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. It's so cute. I can't get over it. This is too adorable. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. It still looks amazing even in the morning. Oh, that is just lovely. Okay, I am back and here is our thrift store title. And you can probably tell that I made it night sky for our neighborhood so we can better see the... Okay, I can't even see from here. We can better see these lights right here. Look how nice they are. Look at the contrast between the lights and the sky. They're complementary colors, so it looks a lot better. So this is Jopai's thrift store. I was gonna call it Uka Uka, but I feel like a lot of people don't know what that is. So I just called it a thrift store. Same thing. So we have all of our stuff outside here as well. And just letting you know, not one, not two are the same. They're all like different types of like clothes and whatever. And going inside, this is what we have. We have some mannequins, half body mannequins over here. And we have them displaying outside as well, just like that. We have a leaking a ceiling, which is a Filipino classic, if I say so myself. Um, and an area for the owner to just sit and read and maybe drink some water, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Yeah, we have a lot of boxes as you can see up there. A lot of boxes and open boxes, um, some shoes and some bags as well. And I think that's all there is to our thrift store, guys. It's a little bit messy, but it's supposed to be like that. Um, so don't get mad about that. And yeah, I think we're done for this section of Sampaguita Avenue. We have done a whole block. We should be proud of ourselves in less than a week too. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. And I believe the next video is going to be the reveal of Sampaguita Avenue. And finishing the town off, of course. I'll see you later.